Morning gents, it's Friday Bacon here and I've got a bit of a hot topic at the moment. It's about the PS4 and kind of sales and how a lot of people can't get a PS4 at the moment which could be an advantage to the Xbox One. And also, I'm asking you guys, should I sell my Xbox 360? Okay, so here it goes. My Xbox 360, it's done me well over the last few years, I will admit. Um, I love playing it, I preferred it over the PS3. And I got it after I had a PS3. Anyway. So at the moment, I use my Xbox 360 for recording, and at the moment on the PS4, you can't actually hook up an Elgato or anything. Not that I have an Elgato, but there's this protection right, and some people can bypass it, but I, I could easily be bypass it, but I don't have an Elgato. But anyway, the PS4 does not um, output um, to my Ava Media Game Capture HD. So I'm thinking, should I keep the Xbox for recording? Uh, I could use the Xbox Advantage for the, the DLC earlier. Uh, maybe Titanfall I could still play. Or should I sell it, get a quick hundred dollars, or maybe a bit more, sell the games, get another hundred dollars, and put that towards an Elgato or a new game capture device. So that's a problem I have. Yeah, so the PS4, it can't output it's only got the HDMI output, so I'm kind of stuck there. But I really don't know if I should sell it because if I, I am getting the PS4 later on this year before Christmas. However, I won't be able to record and possibly videos won't be coming out. So that's a concern for me. I'm going to have to dish out more money for a new game capture device. I'm also thinking in the market it's time for a new game capture device to come out. Uh, Elgato, flawed, and lots of other things are flawed at the moment, so I don't know what what can happen here. And also, I want to talk about the PS4 in Australia specifically. It might apply for other countries, but anyway, the PS4, they know they can pretty much dominate every market apart from America, or this is, this is last gen when they're thinking, because Xbox 360 was dominant extremely dominant in the United States, but now the tables have turned. PS4 really, you know, they went for the week early to release the PS4, so more people would have it. And it seems to me they've allocated more units, PS4 units, to the American markets because they want to capture the American markets. And then they already know they have a market do dominance in Europe. Uh, I'm not sure about Australia, it's pretty 50-50, but many other countries, PS4 is the preferred platform. I'm not sure about the UK. The UK may be different, but overall Europe, PS3 slash PS4 has been um, preferred. So therefore, by releasing the PS4 one week early, they can probably secure more um, sales. And apparently in America, you can pick up a PS4 from what I've heard. But anyway, in Australia, they've only allocated um, not many PS4s at all. They're very hard to get. Um, if you want one, you're going to have to wait till next year. Um, people are selling them on eBay for $800, which is fucking ridiculous. If anyone pays that, it's, well, I can't believe it. But yeah, they've, they haven't allocated many units to Australia, which is, I don't know, a, a smart move or a bad move, because a lot of friends of mine have been like, you know, you should get a PS4, it's cheaper, uh, it's stronger in technically. Um, it's just superior, I find, at the moment. But a lot of saying, well, yeah, I'll get it, but I can't get it. So, And they want this new gaming console, and they're like, I might just get the Xbox. Which is, I know, I'm fine, I'm fine with friends getting the Xbox. I'm not a fanboy, but I would prefer my friends to be on PS4. Um, and a lot of friends are going on PS4, but the problem is, that Sony, they can't output as many consoles as they want. And in Australia, I think it might be 50-50 again because people can't buy this PS4 until next year and there's no guarantees yet. But right now with the Xbox One, you can walk to your local store and get an Xbox One just like that. Even, um, I've heard of some suppliers even still selling the Day One edition. I mean, the Xbox, they haven't gone as well, but they can sell because the PS4... You know, everyone wants one, but there's not enough supply to, you know. So, yeah. 
I'm really not sure what um, what they're doing. Obviously, they're trying to PS4 are trying to dominate the U.S. market, which I think is a smart move. But I think they've under allocated for Australia. I'm I'm fine with waiting a bit. Um, there's no huge rush. But then again, I don't know if I should sell my Xbox 360. It could come in handy. But then again, I would like to start recording for the um, the new PS4. I think one of my solutions could be I could just live stream for the time being or use the inbuilt DVR and work with that until I have enough money for a, a new gaming device. I don't really want to get the Elgato. I kind of want to wait for the, the new Elgato, the Elgato 2 or something, and the HD PVR 3 because I think they're overdue. Uh, they're not really worth $200, $300, especially with these new DVRs coming out. I heard there's a new Ava Media gaming device come out, but I'm not sure. I would like, I'd, ideally I'd only like to spend $100 on a HD PVR. Um, and yeah, so that's my situation. So I'll leave you guys to it.